Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you're interested in skincare, I suggest you hit the subscribe button because I have got a whole bunch of skincare reviews coming up as well as vlogs every Sunday. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Marine Hyaluronics from The Ordinary. It's been a while since I have featured um, any brands from Decium, whether it be The Ordinary or um, Hylamide or Niod. There was a point where I was featuring their products all the time, um, but I decided to take a break and focus on some other brands and try out new products. But considering that the most viewed video on this channel is the 100% L-ascorbic acid powder review from The Ordinary, which I will link up above. It's still getting views every single day. Um, so I thought that you guys are still interested in the brand. So here I am, and this is one of my favorite products from the range. Um, so I'm really excited to talk to you about it and why I love it, the good things and the not so good things about it, because there were always kind of the pros and the cons. This is basically, a um, super lightweight hydrator. It works in the same way as a hyaluronic acid, but it's not a hyaluronic acid. It um, just works as a humectant to hold um, water within the skin, and that's exactly what hyaluronic acid does. This is um, derived from marine algae. It's substate. It's as <laughs> it's sustainably sourced, um, and it just is the best hydrator I have ever used. I love the fact that it's got like, it's like water, it's super lightweight, but it is, you know, don't mistake the fact that it's so lightweight for it not being hydrating. It is so hydrating, it's not even funny. So if you have got um, super dehydrated skin, or you um, have, you know, chronically dry skin or anything like that, and you struggle to find something that will keep your skin quenched and looking juicy and moisturized, then you should definitely consider this. The bonus is that it's from The Ordinary and that the price is fantastic. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this product is the smell. It's got a really Oh, strange smell. It smells almost like a, um, imagine you've like something when it's slightly damp, like a damp smell. So if you've say left a washcloth or a towel out and it's wet and it hasn't dried quickly enough, it's been sitting around damp and it gets that slightly mildew smell. It smells a little bit like that. Not super strong, but it's there and it's not a pleasant smell. So if um, fragrance is important to you, or if something, not necessarily fragrance, but if it's important to you that a product doesn't smell weird, then this is not for you. I would recommend that you try um, a different um, hyaluronic acid. And you know, if you're looking within the budget ranges, then obviously The Ordinary have their regular hyaluronic acid. And then there's other brands that now, um, there's Revolution Skincare, and there is also um, the Inky List. I haven't tried either of those products, but I will put links to them down below. And I've heard that they're both really, really good options. Um, I personally like this because I'm obsessed with the lightweight, like water-like texture of this and how it sinks into the skin really, really quickly. That is a winner for me. And it's just, it just beats, you know, all the other products um, in terms of the hydration. I've tried the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex by Niod. I personally feel that this is a better hydrator. I don't know if like technically, I know that the um, the multi-molecular hyaluronic acid from Niod has got, I think it's 22 different um, molecular weights. I'm almost sure that that's, um, that that's the correct amount. Um, so maybe technically um, or scientifically that will you know, hit all the different layers of your skin. Um, but in terms of how the product makes my skin look and feel, that's all that I can go on. And this wins for me, it comes up trumps. So it's really good. Um, it wins on performance, it wins on price. It just, the drawback is the terrible um, 
it's not terrible, the unpleasant, strange smell. Um, I think that that's everything that you need to know about it. It layers well with other products. It's not sticky, that's another winner. So it's lightweight and not sticky. But I think that that's everything that's worth mentioning about it. I hope this was useful. If you've got any questions regarding the product, let me know in the comments down below and we can continue the conversation there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do and give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.